What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Charizard Moss channel. My name is Charlie and today we are going to get into the uh, special attack stats. Who's the best special attacker in Pokemon Masters? Uh, but before we do, let's go ahead and get our daily uh, discounted summons out of the way. And hopefully we can get uh, Guzma. We'll see what happens though doesn't look like we're gonna get Guzma again. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I've been collecting the three stars. I'm trying to get uh, Cygna Suit Brock up to four star. Uh, just because he's a Cygna Suit guy, man. You can't be a three star Cygna Suit. That's not right. We'll see. Here he is. And there he goes. He's up to four star now. He's got decent, decent uh, uh, attack, but you know, I just like the way he looks, man. Brock's one of my favorite characters, so of course I'm gonna make him a four star. Come on. All right. So what we're gonna get into right now is the special attack stats, which you guys see right over here, uh, at the very top of the list. Of course, Cygna Suit red with mega charizard x uh special attack of 456 but he's actually tied for special attack uh with uh blue and mega pidget now the reason why i rank mega charizard x number one over mega pidget is if you take in all their uh stats into account uh charizard's got better overall stats and he's got a, an expanded sync grid uh, which just, you know, boosts him up even more. Uh, let's see here. Giovanni and Mewtwo comes in at number three. Agatha, Mega Gengar, uh, Lance and Dragonite. They're, I mean, Lance and Dragonite's just... He's also got one of the best physical attack uh, stats in the game as well. Uh, if you haven't seen my fit best physical attack stat list, it's going to be up there. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, Karen and Mega Houndoom. Uh, and then Blue and Pidget comes in at number 9. Uh, and of course, I mean, Cygna Suit, Red and Charizard. Again, one of the best, arguably the best, uh, uh, sync pair in the game right now. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts when, uh, Cygna Suit, Blue and Blastoise comes in. We'll see what happens, though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Brennan and Sceptile, of course. Uh, if you get uh, Brendan and uh, Sceptile's uh, Dauntless uh, Lucky Skill, that will ensure that like that just makes him really crazy, because then when he does uh, Leaf Storm, uh, it's a very powerful attack. But the attack decreases your special attack, so it gets weaker every time. But if you get Dauntless for your uh, Lucky Skill. That makes you not lose a uh, special attack stat at all. That's just an awesome, awesome little combo that you guys can do. If you get lucky enough to pull it, uh, because you need to get the lucky skills and uh, the, the uh, lucky... Uh, is it the creamy cookies or the crunchy cookies? I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I will do a lucky skill uh, whole thing uh, video for you guys too. Uh, in the next week, I think. Uh, but yeah, definitely get uh, Dauntless for Sceptile. But, uh, like, the, the Sceptile evolution line is just really strong. Even if we go down to the, in the top 20, Trico, he has the 19th best special attack stat in the game. That's crazy. And for a unevolved Pokemon, that's insane. Uh,. And Barry and Empoleon, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve my right to criticize them until uh, Empoleon's uh, expanded sync grid comes out. That's gonna either make Empoleon an amazing water type uh, striker, or it's just gonna be an underwhelming unit, and you guys are gonna have to like totally pass on it. But. Again, we'll wait until his uh, sync grid comes out to see what that's all about. 
And uh, rounding it out at number 20 is uh, Barry and uh, Prinplop. <laughs> it's a fun one to say. Prin Prinplop? Prinplop. Uh, so Barry and Prinplop, uh, number 20. Again, wait until their expanded Syncret comes out and we'll reserve uh, the right to criticize them there or not. Uh, but Flint and Infernape, uh, coming in at number 22, is actually pretty good. Uh, if you don't have Cygna Suit Red. Uh, another really good... Let's see here. Oh, and of course, I forgot to mention this. Down in the description is a downloadable link for you guys to get this spreadsheet. It's like this in all of my uh, best stats videos uh, that I'm putting out. Uh, I went ahead and ranked them all for you guys. You guys can have this entire list all 1 to 138 of uh, all the sync pairs currently in the game, plus Clement, who, as of recording this video, is not in the game yet. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely download it so you guys don't have to go back online and uh, rummage through Google and all that sort of stuff to try and find out the stats again. Uh, I have them all right here uh, for you ready to go. But yeah, guys, uh, and Chantel and Chandelier, they they were really good, but... I mean, they're still really good. But if you want a ghost-type attacker, you've got Mewtwo, who has Shadow Ball, so... It was like when uh, Fantina came out with uh, Miss Magius. Miss Magius is great if you could have pulled her, but everyone will tell you always use Mewtwo over any other ghost type Pokemon because his special attack stat is so high and because he uses a ghost type move. Uh, on top of also having Psychic as well. Uh, but when you use Mewtwo, you want to have a bulk. A tank uh, unit to make sure that he doesn't get attacked because his defenses are not the best. When we go over the defense stats, you'll you'll see that he ranks kind kind of low, surprisingly for Mewtwo. But you know, we'll get we'll get there when we get there. Uh, but yeah, guys, just want to do a really quick video so you guys could see uh, what which uh, sync pairs had the best uh, special attack stats. Um, definitely get, uh, Dauntless for, uh, Sceptile if you can, uh, for Charizard if you can get Power Flux 3, uh, when his, uh, it, uh, you, you time, uh, uh, not time, but you, uh, pair Power Flux 3, the lucky skill up with, um, oh, what is it, Propulsion? I just looked it up. It's a uh, Rejuvenate 6 on uh, Charizard Sync Grid. So when you use his Sync move and get him to uh, Mega Charizard X, uh, his entire move gauge, the entire move gauge rejuvenates so that you get that full power attack when you sh uh, uh, combine that with uh, Power Flux 3, giving him some insane attack power. I mean, insane attack power. I haven't been able to roll Power Flux 3 on Charizard yet, but when I do, I will show you guys just exactly how powerful Charizard can be. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, hit them down in the comments. I will talk to you uh, down there all day long. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, so you never miss out on any of my daily uh, Pokemon Masters content, and I will see you in the next video. Later.